Thank you for using IC Solutions. You may begin speaking now. Ultra Rising, Soul Family, Ultra Rising, man. From here all the way to the moon, you feel me? Happy Moon Day, man. This is Lord Hika Soul Ra, a.k.a. Soul Ra Ill Justice, a.k.a. Hika the Black Butterfly, a.k.a. You already know who this is, man. And there's no need for no introduction. You dig? All right, so first and foremost, thank you. You know, with grace and gratitude for um, all the genuine support. You know what I'm saying? I never stop saying thank you for as long as, you know, time. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate your emails, your comments, your likes, your shares, your emojis, your um, the law of giving and receiving. You know, those of you who have sent me any type of money on my books, no matter if it's a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whatever, four dollars, I appreciate it, um, cause I be really needing to buy water, so I ain't gonna lie, like, they don't have water in here, so you gotta buy water, you feel me, and they cost a dollar and thirty cents, um, for a bottle, you know what I'm saying, so to any contributions for any bottles of water, anything like that, I greatly appreciate it, and, um, you know, I miss y'all, I miss y'all, and I love y'all, and I can't wait to, you know, you know, really be back in action in a way such. Also, for those who really, 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 you know, um, I made my debut. I made my debut into the world of spoken word um, genre of music. And uh, I released, uh, actually, I'm releasing a Poetic Verse album. But I actually released, I'm releasing a few singles off of that album before I bring the album out. So the first single that was released off of the album is called Create Through Me, and it's a poetic verse. The name of the album is called Poetic Justice, Poetic Verse. And um, make sure y'all go ahead and support that out. Um, the link is down below. And you can also go to my community tab where you will see uh, a link that takes you straight to the videos um, so that you can watch it. Um, thank you for any likes, any new subscribers. Um, just thank you for this very present moment, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, with all that being said, let's get to the, let's get to the, let's get to the meat. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the meat, y'all. So, today's lecture is, um, who are the soul wanderers from the perspective of an enlightened one? Okay, so, this is actually important information. I feel that it's important information because, the more any information that gives us a deeper understanding of our present position is information that we can use to increase our uh, mobility, right? Because the more awareness you have, the more motion you have, the more motion you have, the more you you move in, in the in the system and um in the matrix. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 vitally important. Um, it's vitally important that we know uh, multiple perspectives of particular concepts and ideas and, and uh, ideologies for us to conceptualize. So, um, uh, I also just want to encourage, you know, I want to give some encouragement. Before we start this, I want to give some encouragement to those out there who you need a little bit of confidence, you need a little bit of encouragement. Um, stay free, stay clear of the people who want to see you down, right? Stay really so far away from the people who want to kick you while you're down. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, uh, always go after your dreams, even on the tough days. Always push through. You know what I'm saying? Like, never give up. Never stop fighting. Even on the days you like, I don't feel like doing this today. Still push through. You know what I'm saying? Like, today the energy is like, man, I don't feel like doing this today. Man, people judging, blah, blah, blah. They don't know me. They believe in what, you know, the comics say, la, la, la. They they going by what, you know, the lies that's been told. They don't understand, da, 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 all that. So it's just like, I don't even want to do it. But at the same time, you know, this is the time when you need to push more. This is the time when you want to have good people around you that encourage you. Like, listen, hold on. You can't stop. You know what I'm saying? You can't stop. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep pushing. You gotta you gotta show up for yourself, but you also gotta show up for the collective. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to those, you know, divine connections out there. You know what I'm saying? And so let this 
be of encouragement to you. Like, even on the days you don't feel like, even on the days you, you, you want to give up, don't give up. You know what I'm saying? And um, tell somebody. Tell somebody how you feel. And then if the person really cares about you, they're going to encourage you to keep on moving. If they want to see you up and shine and they truly, genuinely love you, they're going to push you to keep going. Nice, nice. Not not using force subtly with their words. They're going to encourage you. And um, I hope that was able to touch somebody's heart today. All right, now, soul wanderers. So um, these are souls that they don't really come from a particular aspect. Um, they are pure manifestations of the all, right? So, for example... Some souls can be traced back to a particular region in space, a singular moment in time. These are natural soul wanderers. Um, and by a singular moment, I mean soul originations. So, the, uh, for instance, if you wanted to know your soul name, you can. If you can trace the, uh, the source of its um, manifestation or the source of its when it it sparked right when it when it when it when it when it been when it was sparked into the observable world and when you trace that you can trace uh, all the way back to the sound that your soul made when it emerged and that sound is basically the name of your soul because the souls don't really have actual english letter names they have like sounds just like when you speak words out your mouth you know, we identify them as words and phrases and sentences, but these are simply just sounds. And we're making sounds with our voice box, okay? So um, so that's what I mean by a singular point or soul originations. Now, the soul wanderers, these are, um, the soul wanderers are bound to no particular realm of space, celestial body or galaxies. So they end up being traced back to multiple inceptions at any given time space continuum. They are manifestations of the sacrifice of the highest orders of oversouls, um, hollow army self complex units. I know that was a lot, right? That was a mouthful. So let me just break that down real quick. With, cause some of the downloads I be getting, they be so high vibration. I gotta kind of, kind of, you know, give it an example. So, um, <clears throat> let's say that you have a soul, right? Let's say that you have a soul and, um. Uh, you can trace you can trace your soul back to being uh, sparked somewhere in the Andromeda galaxy. Now, but that's the only place that you can trace it back to, right? Right. So that's not a soul wanderer. A, let's say like a soul wanderer. Um, they're not bound to Earth. So when I say bound to Earth, there are some souls that when they transition over, their soul is bound to Earth, and so they keep being born again and born again on the Earth. That's what I mean, right? Um, now, soul wanderers, even if, okay, let's say that there was a galactic uh, war or a galactic spiritual war, and let's say that some entities from one universe came over to another universe and tried to, like, take over. But while they was in that other universe, they died or they transitioned. They lost their physical avatars. So what happens is they then become born in that space, in that region, just like the... Uh, just like the entities or the uh, inhabitants of that space will look like. So something like the Avatar movie, right? Something like the Avatar movie. The uh, people from the sky came, and then once they came, um, they ended up um, getting killed, and then they was born again, and they was looking just like the Avatars. You see what I'm saying? But they had souls that, did, that originated from a whole other universe. They had souls that was from another place. So... That's what I mean by um, being bound to a, par a particular realm of space, celestial body, or galaxy. Now, the soul wanderers are not bound to any of these spaces. So it don't matter what universe or what inter interplanetary uh, grid that they manifest through, matrix they manifest through. If they die there, um, they're a part of the higher order of service to others. Like... So you have service to self, you have service to others, but then you have a higher order of service to others. Now, the higher order of service to others is the sacrificial lamb type energy where um, they don't particular uh, choose which celestial body, space realm, or galaxy to go to. They just go to wherever their energy is called or needed. So for instance, 
when I say that you was a um, high level enlightened one, you like, okay, well, if, um, I wanted to use my soul to go to planet um, Hadarian or something like that, right? Let's just say that. So let's say that you pass away, you transition, and you end up, you know, you're reborn again in the planet Hadarian, right? Um, by choice, right? That's by choice. Now, let's say that you're a soul wanderer. Now, you're a soul wanderer. You're not choosing a particular location. Your energy and your consciousness and your soul is being put or uh, it's been manifested to where your energy is needed the most. So put it this way. The human has power and control and authority that's vested within them, but to a particular extent because they've sacrificed their own will to the will of the divine. Okay, so there's they sacrifice the soul wanderers basically sacrifice their will to the will of the divine, and once they sacrifice their will to the will of the divine, they're they're that's why they don't really manifest that much because if they manifest, it's kind of them getting in their own way because they already done sacrifice themselves to for the greater cause of humankind or mankind or whatnot for the the greater good for everybody. So, for instance. Um, let's use my energy for an example, right? Let's say, for example, that I was a soul wanderer, right? And so my energy was needed in the jails or whatever like that. And I'm not going to volunteer or do nothing to get in those space like that because I've been living righteously and balanced and unjust for the last uh, injustice, as in fair and right, right action, right living for the last four or five years. You see what I'm saying? So circumstances and things manifested in order to, let's say, have my energy in a place that where it's needed, right? And so what happens there is the energy, the soul wanderers get sent there to, it could be to a planet, it could be to a situation, a condition, or whatever. And they do healing there. They work there on the people, they work in the land, they work in the earth, whatever they need to do in spirit and the flesh. And then with the land or the space or the people are healed there then they go somewhere else so for for example think of um the bible right the bible how you had you had christ consciousness um had to travel to all these different places where they would where where it was being called to in order to to heal people in order to try to uh, uh teach the word of whatever was true to them type of thing um <clears throat> So these, so these, so these are what your your soul wanderers are. These your soul wanderers are the highest level of service to others, and so they have sacrificed and given their entire everything in order to. And so, do they? That's here's the question: Do they continue to reincarnate and reincarnate and reincarnate? It depends on what aspect they've agreed upon and what what a uh, way of life that they, you know decided to agree to, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, yes, their energy will get um, sent to wherever it's needed. But because because they've already learned all the lessons, all the major lessons that a soul has to learn in one realm, they have enough power because they are manifestations of an oversoul. That's what I'm saying. They're the oversoul all the manifested. And it can be in multiple bodies at any given time space continuum. And um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say about the soul wanderers and who they are and, you know, how they sacrifice who they are for the higher good and for the higher power. And so their main, their main job is just to be present wherever they are and to allow one minute remaining and to allow the God source energy to create through them or to uh, expand through them and to just heal, like just them being alive and simply breathing in a particular space is enough. And so with that being said, if you feel that you uh, are a soul wanderer, comment down below. If you know anything about soul wanderer, if I said something that was wrong or that you know a different perspective, comment down below, man, and just let me know. Let's learn together. Let's explore. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.